So, morning everyone. Let us tell you a story. I never wanted to grow another chilli plant ever after last year. Yeah, and I love chilies. I love heat. We, the wife even loves it more than me. But I, I was quite keen in my hut to get chilies away and I started them in November. Yes, I wanted the best chilies ever. Started them in November, had as much power of heat and light that I could throw at these chilies. It kept on tripping the house. There's a story behind this, everyone knows it. It kept on tripping the house electrics. It was a nightmare to get them going. I, t I had lovely Carolina Reapers and I had black, black Hungarian wax chilies and I had them perfect. I took them up to the polytunnel the first day the frost got them and wiped them out. And I took them up in, you know, sometime in April. So I'd been growing them and nurturing them. And it, it sickened us a little bit, if I'm honest. It's like, I never wanted to go near a chili again. But one of the reapers kind of came through and managed to survive it. And I got a, an amazing crop, but I was still a little bit. I'll be honest, it's a hassle to grow chilies. They're, they're fickle with the cold, and when you're up here, you know, close to the wall, you know, what I mean? and, uh, it's northeast England, you've got to really pamper them. And I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to bother, not going to bother. But I kept, because everyone says, over winter, your chilies, Tony. So I did. And again, <laughs> this is the Hungarian hot black, hot, or the. Just gone, lost that one. There's a little thing. And my Carolina Reaper. I've lost that as well. Now, this one was going great, absolutely great. But this last month, and I'm still going to plant it because I feel where this one's brittle, this one's not so brittle, and it's it possibly come. But this is a Carolina Reaper, and it's a bit, you know, hard to get any kind of, without kind of scalding yourself, nice flavour, heat out of it. So I was kind of committed, and I've actually broke this rule, committed to not growing any chilies, maybe for a couple of years, just of sickening myself, sickening myself. But then, I, like I say, I broke the rule, I went to the garden centre, I found one and I, I picked it up. Now, now, along comes Nick Elliott, right? And Nick Elliott calls, calls to us and gives us an email and says, Tony, look at these chilli plants. And at first I went, all right, aye. Yeah, good, good on, Nick. Yeah, you've got some. He says, these chilli plants are your chilli plants. And so, he says, last year, and I did, I sent out, I had a competition, and I sent out some chilli seeds. And Nick grew his chillies. Fantastic, you know what I mean? Well, I think actually I either sent out chilli seeds or I sent out actual chilli plug plants. I'm not sure which one. Year later, Nick's kept his seeds and lo and behold, and lo and behold, Nick has very kindly said he would give us some. Now I thought, well, that's all right. I don't have to do the donkey work. I can just, you know. So, one second. Listen, he forgot to tell you, he's all excited about his little idea there. He's, he's forgot to tell you, do subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic. Hit the bell, hit the thumbs up, and you'll be notified every time that a show comes along. And don't forget, this Monday, live shows are back on. Oh, he's coming. In the post today is a box. Live plants this way up. And to be honest, this this is this will take up all my recycling just to get into it, you know, like the packaging. But Nick, very kindly, and we've been talking for a, a, a few well, kind of months, to be honest about it, that we didn't want to kind of post out in like a cold month or in like even like say the Easter, where it might these plants might get just stuck in a, like a, a, a post office warehouse and we'll lose them. So timing had to be everything, and I'll just show you. Blue sky, timing was perfect. Nick posted these out yesterday and I was ready and waiting for them and I fell asleep and I missed the post. <laughs> Been night shift last night, I missed the bloody post. I was like, oh, lucky enough, I've just getting myself, 
I'm, this is more like a story than anything else. I'm just getting myself a turntable. Yes, I'm going back to LPs. And I'd ordered, a, has anybody heard of the Sonics? These were the godfathers of grunge, me, grunge guitar work in metal. Anyway, that got delivered by the postman. And I says, oh, I says, I give him his little, the little card, which, which the card said, return the depot. And I was like, Ooh. He says, that shouldn't have come. He says, I'm the I my bloody job, that. He says, I can't be, yeah, I don't know who's done this. Shouldn't have done this, should have put it in there. Like, I've got a hut, which... You know. So, ten minutes later, he knocks on the door again. By the time I'm gutted, to be honest, I'm thinking, right, I'm going to have to just, like, they're going to have to have a night over in the, in the warehouse and, you know, kind of just live with it. He knocks on the door, he says, they're it. They're a mile away. He says, they're over at Seaburn. He says, I'm going to whiz over for you, Tony. He calls Tony. He says, I'm going to get them for you. Get them chilies looked after. <laughs> so, half an hour later, there we go. Nick's plants have turned up. Now, what I want to do now, I'm quite, I'm, I'm keen now. <laughs> I'm hellish keen now to like, look after these because Nick's went all of the trouble. The postman's went all of the trouble. So I don't want to just mess it up. So let us just... Quickly on fast open, and I've got to be careful, but I just want to show you this is how you should wrap your plants. <laughs> now, I know Nick said as well there's wood in there, but Nick's also got some air vents in there as well. I'm presuming they're air vents because they're not just like puncture holes like that one because they're all uniform. So, let me just get in and hopefully. The one night in the post office warehouse hasn't been enough to kind of knock them. Did I tell you about this knife? Oh, light knife. Listen, I'm still saying it, I swear by it. It's absolutely perfect for this kind of job. Now, Nick says there's some wood on here somewhere. Bit of garden pee, bubble wrap there, lad. Eh? <gasps> Little note there, Nick. Hi, Tony. Finding clothes, six hot wax and two parry fire, pra prairie fire chilies. These have been grown from seed of your oh, right from seed from mine supplied, Nick. Nick, thank you very much. Now I don't know if you can see that. These look amazing. <laughs> the quality. There, oh, Nick, man, the port, the, they have come. If anybody, can I just turn you around there? That is how to pack chilies and get them over. Oh, they are just absolutely gorgeous. And there's a bit of a chill in the air, so I'm not gonna kind of wait too long. So I've got six Hungarian hot wax and six prairie fire. Now let me get these unpacked and get them into that hood there. I've got them nice and warm and cosy. I'll keep this gold dust. Oh, in wine glasses there, that's a true gardener for you. It just gets sozzled on the night time. Can you see, see that? There we go. So there's wood. You know, that's a great little... The, the leaves haven't even been damaged. They haven't even been... And I give... I'll... I'll give a like a thumbs up to the you know the, the post office as well. That could quite easily have just been thrown in a, a car and you know or a van and damaged to Helen back, but they are lovely now. It's good. I think what I'll do actually is I might if I get my knife. Just open them up. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. And a little cover to keep the soil over. Now, there's a tip, I'm just gonna give a tip there. My mum buys violas from McGregor. I forget what the, her first name is, Sarah McGregor. Anyways, they came, they come, and there's like loads of like bubble wrap here. That there, just a little bit of plastic is all you need. Stop the soil falling on the plant. These are obviously, the Hungarian hot wax because they're a nice size. Nick, these are in tip-top condition. Now it's up to me to take over the challenge and get them looked after. And I'll show you where I'm going to put them. They're going to go 
in this little actually i'll put them here and i'll get i'll move things around but this is where the, the little hole and it's oh, it's lovely there is a bit of a chill out there but it's lovely and warm in here so let me just get back into the sun what i want to do is get them in there now see a huge thank you to nick elliott nick you are a star lad thank you so much and the post office they would out of this world to get these overnight and get them back to us brilliant look after yourselves everyone take good care